Hi guys, so this video is a project share. Um, I've been trying to work on some Christmas projects and I know it's getting close to the holidays so um, I wanted to share this with you guys because I am going to mail them off. Um, so these are embellishment books and I've seen a ton of people do these. Um, the tutorial that I followed was from a channel called Crafting with Lily R or Lil I guess Lil Liller maybe. Anyway, I'll link her video down below. She's awesome at um, explaining how she did it. Um, so it's basically just like a four page booklet full of handmade embellishments. So I used paper from my stash um, because I actually started working on these around Thanksgiving time. And you guys, it took me forever to get all the little details going. Um, so this is how it looks. It's black cardstock and then layers of patterned paper, right? To give it some um, sturdiness. Uh, here I just used some trim on it and some stickers from Dollar Tree from last year. So it opens up this way. And so you see there's little tabs at the top and you can show off all the embellishments, but I'll show you, maybe I should zoom in a little. Um, let's see, okay. So it's a really fun project because you actually um, get to use up a lot of your stash paper for the background since it's not gonna show much, it's a great way to use up paper. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what I included in my embellishment books and there's, I mean, you could put a ton of things in here, ribbon and washi samples and whatever. Um, so I use different alpha stickers from my stash to spell out die cuts and shaker bits here. So here I just have a few, sorry for the glare, a few um, Christmassy die cuts. And then here are a bunch of different like sequins and things from my stash. So there's like some little Christmas lights, some holly berries, and then um, a shaker mix I made that has tiny little snowflakes and tiny little trees. I don't know if you can see them. Um, so that's on the first page. And then of course I just embellished it with washi and some bling here. This is die cuts from a Christmas set. And I just loved some of the sentiments like lots of love and a gift for you. So I put some fun um, cut aparts from the paper pad in there and I just made a little topper and I put ephemera um, these are the little tabs on each section so that it's easy to flip through and then here <laughs> one of my little puffs that I make all the time so I put a little Christmassy one there that's candy cane striped with a little green puff so on the next flip down there's some enamel dots here the little peppermint enamel dots I make some wood pieces here, um, some bows. So I've seen a lot of people make these embellishment books and they just stick the embellishments down onto the book so that you can just pull them. I chose to package whatever I could package just to keep it from being sticky backed or whatever and then hard to put in your stash. But you could definitely just make your little paper embellishments and stick them right down onto the booklet. Um, so again, more washi and stickers here. There's two rhinestone bows. I mean, two um, sequin bows. And then, of course, I had to include some of my resin pieces. So um, a frame here, a green frame, and then some bows. And there's just some washi and some stickers there. So then that's the tab to the next one. And this is the last section. So here I put some green and red twine on a little spool and some ribbon. All of this could be reused. So the little piece of ribbon could be reused and the twine. And this is popped up on foam tape. Um, this is a little handmade embellishment I made out of pipe cleaners. Really cute. And I used some little gems to decorate the reef. Here are some foam pieces that say Noel. And this is a sticker that could be pulled off and reused. Um, here are some handmade um, rosettes that I just use a word dye and look one of my little peppermints there <laughs> and then here is um, a little simple stories um, kind of like a hard plastic um, clip and this is a little paper clip I made how cute is this this was a recollections um, Santa hat it was like a set of eight in the minis section and I just hot glued it to a green paper clip so it's a little Santa hat paper clip and that is there and then of course I just decorated here and I put some more washi and some stickers and then it closes up on the back I have to put um, I guess a little cut apart or something with you know handmade by and my channel name so that's how it looks I made a second one and it has all of the same stuff in it 
just slightly different paper. This is really pretty, right? It says Merry Christmas there in red. So it's the same, um, same stuff on the inside, the shaker bits, die cuts and shaker bits, some ephemera, one of my little fluffy paper clips, some of my resin pieces here. I love this bow frame. Um, some bows again, my little peppermint enamel dots, and then all the same stuff, the twine, the foam pieces, the little wreath, some rosettes I made, and the little clips. And that's how the back of that one looks. So these are really fun to make. It's actually really simple. It's, it's um, regular Recollections Michaels cardstock, and then um, you, you score it so there's an inch in the middle, and then you make a second one that's just slightly smaller, and you stick it down. And then once you add all of your patterned paper, it really reinforces it so that the pages are kind of thick and sturdy. Um, but again, I'm going to link the tutorial I used for these. I just wanted to share it because I thought it was fun. I'm working on some altered coffee sleeves, and I'll share that video next if I can actually get them done. <laughs> all right, guys, let me know what you think. Um, and if you've seen another tutorial um, on on these kind of embellishment books, let me know in the description box below. I'd love to check out your video or a video you've followed that works out as well. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.